Hi, this is Tony Ayhan Ahmed. Could you please explain that what will be the kind of business startup process or checklist for the United States uh, or for the businesses to do, you know, starting a business in the U.S. New startup businesses, then they're going to consider this. They're going to first of all select the name and legal structure that they would like to start, right? What type of name they're going to call themselves, what type of name the company name is going to be or their trade name is going to be. And also, is it going to be LLC or Inc. or PLLC? for the type of uh, company formation. And secondly, you know, the business has to actually write a business plan. And with this business plan, you know, that you will have to have a clear idea and understanding about how you're gonna approach the market, how the management is gonna be, how you're gonna try to survive actually, and also grow uh, your business. Thirdly, you will need to obtain FEIN number, which is means Federal Employer Identification Number through IRS for your business to be able to actually start doing business. Thirdly, you're going to have to open a bank account for your company and a you know, bank that you choose so that way any income or these transactions you will have you will go through this business uh, account actually rather than your personal account. Fifth, you will have to lease space, right? Either you will have to have a lease office, warehouse, retail space if it's not a home, home based business and then some of the places you might lease office or you might use, do those sharing places uh, such as WeWork or uh, you know type of places actually to start your you know uh, having a place of business and six you will have to obtain licenses or permits because not every business may need all of them but if you are starting a business let's say you're starting in new york then you want to make sure that you have a necessary license or permits to conduct business and seven you will have to hire actually employees right and when you're hiring then you will have to have a payroll records and you have to make sure that you take care of unemployment and insurance and also disability insurance which is required let's say in New York for employers to have if they when they have higher employees actually and you will have to actually set up an accounting and record keeping system where you're going to be able to make sure that you can develop your business and you know you can use your funds in order and clearly so you don't get any any, any financial trouble or legal trouble later on so I can say those are the main important you know, the checklist that the businesses should consider when they're starting in the U.S.